Hi again! Foods have different kinds of sugars, monosaccharides, disaccharides, and polysaccharides. Today we are going to explore how these different sugars are present in the foods we eat. Milk contains lactose. Lactose is a dimer, meaning it is made out of two subunits, two monomers. Imagine it like a Lego. One piece is a monomer. You put two pieces together and you get a dimer. Similarly, with multiple pieces, let's say a thousand, you create a polymer. In the case of sugars, you can have a monosaccharide, one simple sugar, disaccharides, two simple sugars bonded with one another, and polysaccharides, multiple simple sugars bonded with one another. Like we were saying before, lactose is a dimer. Disaccharides made out of two monosaccharides, galactose and glucose. For food, we are going to use everything that you can find in your household or easily buy in a nearby supermarket. For this experiment, you can use an apple, starch, salt, or bread. But actually, every kind of food is good to experiment with. Go crazy! You can use a tomato or celery. To indicate the presence of polysaccharides, we are going to use iodine, which you can find in med kits or in a drugstore. Here are the steps. First, on each plate, put a small piece of the food. Put a few drops of iodine on the food, and then observe the appearing colors. Now that you have done these steps, you will see colors appear. You will observe that in some foods, when the iodine hits the food, almost immediately a dark blue or black color will appear. This is because iodine interacts with the polysaccharide found in starch. Starch can be found in foods like bread, potatoes, and rice. Starch has two subcomponents, amylose and amylopectin. Both are homoglycans, meaning that they are made out of only one type of monomer, glucose. Amylose is a linear chain of many glucose molecules. It curves like a helix. Amylopectin is also made out of glucose and makes many helix branches. Iodine is incorporated with the amylose part of starch and gives it this blackish color. However, this color does not appear when iodine is in contact with sucrose, which is a disaccharide made out of fructose and glucose, the basic monosaccharides.